I am Dr. Ashish Vihar and I welcome to you all to this another lecture of theory of machines and in this lecture we will study about introduction to timing belt and pulley I appeal to you before proceeding to my lecture please subscribe my youtube channel Dr. Ashish Vihar so that you can receive such type of videos and uh, you can hit my website also www. DrVikhar.com and uh, you can ask your queries to me on my email ashishvikhar20 at the red gmail.com so today's topic is timing belt and pulley timing belt and pulley is today's topic and uh, this type of belt is somewhat different in nature as compared to what we have recently seen the structure or nature of V belt and flat belts and their classification. As you can see, this is the timing belt which is mounted here on the timing pulleys. Timing belt and pulleys. So here you will see the structure of the pulley, driver pulley and the driven pulley is having a different nature and the structure of this belt is also somewhat different as it is having tips. So let us see the details regarding this special type of belt and pulley which is called as a timing belt and pulley. In this sketch you will see again the timing belt and pulley. You will see this is the timing belt and these are nothing but two driver and driven pulleys. Bill Devin invented the first timing belt in 1954. Engineers typically opt for timing pulley and belt drives over conventional power transmission drives primarily because of their unique design which offer several advantages. So this is the reason, reason why engineers typically use timing pulleys and belt drives over conventional power transmission. As we know, belt drives are used for power transmission and engineers always try to get maximum power by utilization of belt drives. But in that category, timing pulleys and belt drives are very popular because of their unique design and which are having several advantages. So here timing pulley is a type of pulley configuration that features teeth and pockets on the outside diameter of pulley's body. So teeth and pockets are there on the outside diameter of the pulley. So these teeth you will see that these teeth are there on outside diameter of the pulley. So these teeth and pockets mate with the timing belt. So this belt is also having certain teeth and there is a mating of the teeth and pockets on the diameter of the pulley's body as well as the teeth and pockets met with the timing belt and what is that having the same pitch in synchronized drive because of that it prevents pulley belt misalignment and ensuring smooth power transmission so smooth power transmission is achieved uh, after that belt pulley belt misalignment is prevented. So this way we can have introduction to this special type or unique type of belt drive. So let us define what is timing belt. A timing belt is a type of synchronous belt consisting of teeth similar to the gears. So these teeth are similar to the gears. It has the application to transfer synchronous rotation motion from one shaft to another. The complete system consists of driver, driven and idler pulley. So the driver pulley is there, driven pulley is there and one additional idle pulley is inserted whenever it, if it is required in the design. Similar to the gears, the number of teeth on the driver and driven timing pulley determines the velocity ratio. And this velocity ratio exists between the driver and driven shaft. For example, if the number of teeth on the driver pulley is higher than the number of teeth on the driven pulley 
the driven shaft will rotate at higher speed compared to the driver shaft so this velocity ratio is going to be varied according to the number of teeth let us see what are the terminologies or parameters for timing pulleys and beds the first parameter is pulley the first parameter is pitch so here you will see this pitch this pitch is there so pitch is the distance from one tooth center to the adjacent tooth center and it is measured on the pulley pitch circle so this terminology shows that it is having this is nothing but outside pitch diameter this is a pitch diameter pitch diameter and this is outside diameter so here in this you will see that these teeths are there teeths are there which are uh, on the part as a part of the belt so pitch is the distance from one tooth center to the adjacent tooth center pitch diameter as i have said earlier what is meant by pitch diameter pitch diameter is a dimension of the straight line through the center through the center of the pulley to the pitch circle so pitch circle is plotted outside and this is nothing but the diameter passing through the center third is outside diameter the outermost surface of the timing pulley so this is the outermost surface of the timing pulley is the part of the pulley in direct contact with the bottom surface of the timing belt so this is a important here outermost surface of the timing pulley is uh, the part of the pulley in the direct contact with the bottom surface bottom surface of the timing belt timing belt when they mesh the diameter formed by this outermost surface is called as the outer outside diameter and it is calculated by using this formula by using this formula outside diameter is equal to pitch diameter minus 2 multiplied by u where u is the distance from the sprocket pitch circle so this is a u u here u is the distance from the sprocket pitch circle to the outer out, outermost surface of the timing pulley so in this way here we have defined the terminologies like pitch after that pitch diameter outside diameter <coughs> let us see how to calculate the belt length here you will see the timing pulley having diameter d1 and another timing pulley d2 and the timing belt is there which is mounted on the periphery of the, all these two types of timing pulley so we can calculate the belt length if the timing pulley diameter and center to center distance between the driver and driven pulley is known so l is the center to center distance between the two pulleys so belt length is evaluated by using this formula 2l is plus 1.57 d1 plus d2 plus into bracket d1 minus d2 upon 4l so l is the length center to center distance between the two pulleys and d1 and d2 d1 is the diameter of driver pulley and d2 is nothing but the diameter of driven pulley or it may be d2 is the diameter of driver pulley and d1 is the diameter of driver driven pulley so this way belt length can be calculated so there are certain advantages and disadvantages of timing belts the so timing belts have the following advantages it produces low noise low vibrations there is no slippage problem we can have high mechanical efficiency up to 98% in power transmission we get constant velocity ratio and it requires very low maintenance so these are some of the advantages of timing belt let us see what are the disadvantages of timing belt it is having higher cost initial alignment with the timing pulley is required if we want to run such type of machine then it is used to transfer relatively low power and it transfer power at relatively smaller distance so these are some of the disadvantages of timing belts let us see what are the applications of timing belt and pulley such type of unique timing belt and pulleys are used to synchronize engine shaft engine crankshaft and the camshaft motion in saving machines you will find 
टाइमिंग बेल्ट एंड पुली ड्राइव इन थ्री डी प्रिंटर ट्रेड मिल कन्वेयर सिस्टम एज वेल एज इन सी वी टी ड्राइव्स कंटिन्यूसली वेरिएबल ट्रांसमिशन ड्राइव्स ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम यूजेस टाइमिंग बेल्ट एंड पुली ड्राइव एंड इन इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन प्रोडक्ट्स यू विल फाइंड द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ इट सो इन दिस वे वी हैव सीन हियर वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड अप्लीकेशन ऑफ टाइमिंग बेल्ट एंड पुली ड्राइव थैंक यू वेरी मच